Welcome to the demonstration of how to edit an MSI package with Space Suite MSI Editor. This is the second part of our tutorial in which we will talk about editing features, component structure, custom actions and general information about an MSI package, as well as calculating complexity estimation and managing upgrades. To watch the first part about managing files, directories, permissions and shortcuts, check the link in the description. You can get your free Space Suite trial at pacesuite.com. It's worth mentioning that PaySuite is out-of-the-box solution that does not require any configurations and does not have software dependencies, like SQL database or any other. If you're editing a vendor MSI produced by a software manufacturer, according to Windows installer best practices, you should do it with a transform file. That is what we will do now. In case you're editing your repackaged MSI or you're not afraid of losing your vendor support, skip the step of creating a transform file. To edit MSI package, select Edit with MSI Editor from the context menu. Then go to the menu and select New MST. Choose destination location and file name for the transform and click Save. To manage features, component structure of your package, open the respective tab. In the left pane you can see a tree that shows the structure of features and components as well as resources that are linked to those components. By clicking on a feature you are able to review or modify its details in the right pane. For example, you can choose installation behavior from the drop-down list. That means you don't need to specify the installation level of the feature manually. It will be automatically set in accordance to a value of the install level property. If you click on a component, its details will be displayed in the right pane. Here you can edit identifier, GUID, directory, other details and select the necessary attributes. Furthermore, you can review all resources which belong to components. Just expand the component and review resources such as shortcuts, files and so on. Also, you can move a component from one feature to another by using drag and drop. Using the context menu, you can create new root and new child features, new components, or import files or registry directly to the selected feature or component. If you need to review custom actions or import scripts to your package, go to the custom actions tab. You can select a table from which the list of actions will be displayed. And you can filter this list by source type, condition, or you can hide all standard actions. To reset the applied filters, click this button. In the list, custom actions are highlighted with an icon displaying its source type. Standard actions do not have any icons. In the right pane, you can review and edit actions details such as name, source type, source, target, condition, and select attributes. To change the sequence of an action, use drag and drop to move it in the list. Alternatively, enter the sequence number manually in this field. Also, here you can add standard action by selecting the necessary action from the list. Note that actions which are already included in this package are not displayed in this list. For instance, if you want to import your script to the package, select a place among the actions where you'd like to run the script. Select new custom action from the context menu. In the newly created custom action, click Import from File and choose a script which you'd like to import. And click Open. MSI Editor imports the selected script to the binary table, sets it in the source field and automatically selects the respective source type. All what is left to do is either to select a predefined condition from a drop-down list or type it in manually. Select the necessary attributes. For example, let's run the script in a deferred block and with elevated privileges. Finally, set a name for your script. Open the Application tab to manage general application details such as name, publisher, version, summary information stream and the way your package will be displayed in the Programs and Features section of the control panel. Here you also get a complexity level of your package. The level is based on number of files, registry entries, custom actions, services, ODBC entries and ICE errors. We have four complexity levels, basic, easy, medium and complex. You can change complexity estimation criteria in the complexity config XML file that can be found in the user profile folder slash MSI editor. If you haven't run the full package validation yet and you need to get the number of ICE errors, click refresh. Finally, you can save the complexity estimation results to a report by clicking Export Results. Then choose the destination and file name and click Save.
In the generated report, you will find your package identification information, number of calculated resources, package size, and complexity level. In the manual estimation section, you can set additional options to get a more precise complexity level of your package. Let's get back to MSI Editor. The final thing on the application tab is managing upgrades. Here you can review upgrade codes, which will be detected on the target system. To import upgrade codes from the previous versions of the package, click Import Upgrades, select MSI packages which you need to upgrade, and click Open. MSI Editor automatically imports the necessary information from the selected files to create rules for upgrading installed previous versions of the package on your target system. In other words, previous versions of the package will be removed right before installing the new one. Finally, to save all our modifications to the previously created transform file, go to the menu and click Save. You can now close your package. PaySuite MSI Editor is a powerful and easy to use tool for tuning MSI packages. Subscribe to our channel, wait for the next video tutorials and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.